Buddy, what are you doing over there, man? Silver, oh man, the silver mass has come through! Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's having a great day. We're here with Bruce. Bruce is hooking us up today with a spot. Put it there, Bruce. And uh, he's going to show us a few things that a waterman has found over the years. Uh, just out fishing. Let's check it out. Here we go. Maybe later. All right, here's a few things that's been found on the bottom of the ocean right here. Petrified whale bones like you've seen me find before. These are vertebrae. 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 That's a vertebrae. That's a neck vertebrae right there. I think pretty good size, too. You see me find these. This is actually petrified. You can tell by the weight of it how it's petrified. It's really heavy. Uh, more modern bone would not be like that. That's pretty cool. We got some other bones. And, oh, look at that. That's an axe head from an Indian. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. Pretty cool. Here's some uh, petrified petrified stuff there. I'm not, anybody know what they call that? Let me know. Pretty cool stuff, though. All right, you know, we see a lot of these things here. This guy collects these uh, buoys that wash up on the shore. Look at that. That's a lot of buoys right there. He's got buoys on all the trees right here. Look at these. Let's go check these out real quick here. It's a big one right there. But these things are pretty cool. These are where the, I guess, crab pots or whatever and nets and stuff, but they, they break loose and they wash in and they're pretty cool looking actually. Makes for a nice little display out here anyway. That's super cool there. Let's look at them from this direction here. The light is a little better this direction right here. Let's check them out over here. Yeah, I think you can see them a little better here. Look at that. Pretty cool. Little conch shells he's found everywhere. Fishmen get a little chance to find all kind of stuff sometimes. Here's some uh, some brick that he found washed up from an old shipwreck right here. Check these out. They're thinking these came from uh, actually a ship uh, where they the the fire pit in the ship where they were burning at. Right here, he's actually made a whole fire pit right here and used those type of. These actually came off of an old ship right here. That's pretty cool right there. We're, so maybe one day we'll take a ride out and check that out. So stay tuned for that video. Hopefully one day we'll take another adventure offshore. All right, we got to get Buddy coming along. You ready, Buddy? I'm ready, brother. All right, we're getting all our stuff together here now. We got Bruce over here. Y'all ready, Bruce? Ready to go, Steve. All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, here's one old house right here. It's really grown up, but we do have permission to hunt this area. Uh, y'all want to hit this real quick, or what do y'all think? Oh, we're going to try it just real quick, and then we'll head out to the main house, which you'll see is a 1700s house. But we'll head around just to see if we find a little silver or not. All right, let's check it out. All right, check this root around this tree, this vine or whatever it is. It literally has choked this tree off right here. That is one big, looks like a snake. That thing has completely choked that tree right there. And it's strong enough, it's almost like a trunk. And you can see it's actually choking the tree that's pretty crazy right there all right that's one big piece of copper right there probably pretty old not sure what it would go to but kind of neat looking we'll see if we got any kind of markings on anywhere all right we're into the main field right here there's a 1783 house right there and we'll take a look at that in just a little bit but we're just going to take a quick scan through the field right here right in front of the 1700s house and See if something happened out here. You ready, Bruce? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, right there on the side of the uh, brick chimney is a name in 1783. That's pretty awesome right there, Bruce. Yes, it is. That's cool right there. Definitely an old, old house here that we're uh, hunting around. Pretty cool here. All right, we're going to hit around the outside skirts of the house, check the backyard. See anything back there? His buddy back there hitting it already. And uh, maybe find an old clothesline back here. Or outhouse. All right, let's do it. All right, almost all these old plantations had graves in the back of here. I see an 1814 on that one right, right there. Here's one here. Let's see if we see a date on it. I don't know. Uh, I can't really see. Uh, there's some other ones here. You can tell these are old gravestones here. Just initials on that gravestone. Probably back in the 1700s right there. We got this whole field back here we're going to hit too, but just kind of check around the house right now. Some outbuildings back here, probably from back then. 
so far we really haven't found a whole lot but uh it's pretty cool just being here and knowing what happened here back in 1700s pretty cool isn't it all right let's keep looking all right that's kind of interesting right there i think that might be period right there some kind of hook to hold something up with right here see if that's i think that goes through maybe it doesn't go through right there no it doesn't that's some kind of little hanger or something kind of cool looking we'll definitely say that I have come out here to the field, I'll hunt the field a little bit, see if I can find maybe an older homestead out here. That's 1780, they could have had a 1600s back in the back of the field, you just don't know. Uh, Buddy and Bruce are still up hunting the uh, around the house here, which I really thought we would have had some buttons or something by now up there, but so far not much. So I'm going to take a quick run through this entire field here. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized field. I'll run through this entire field just to see if I get any kind of hits out here. And I actually look for Indian stuff too. There's a couple shells out here, but that just could be from dragged out here from stuff. But you want to keep an eye on the ground for bricks, shell, um, Indian stuff. So I'm kind of excited. It might be some Indian stuff out here, which I'm really hoping. Hi, right, I am out here in the middle of the field. And look at this. 29, 28. That is a good signal. 9 degrees, 30. 28 to 30 consistent. That is the best consistent signal I've had. Oh, dang. Not there. Whoa. It's out over here. I'm not seeing anything yet. It's right there somewhere. And it does. I don't see anything. Got my heart pumping now. It's right there. I see it. Woo, y'all ready? It's round. It's definitely round. Oh, my God. It's a modern quarter. Can you believe it? Oh, man. Is it silver, baby? Actually, I don't think so. I think it might be mine. I think. We'll clean up check it out. Wow. That's what you come here for. Just get your heart going. Have a good time. It doesn't matter, really. But it's nice to have it. But when I do my pants, it doesn't turn silver. So... Thinking it could be a modern. Going, that was that was a good uh, exhilarating effort there. there. All right, buddy's digging a few things here and there. What you got, buddy? A piece of pottery in the 1700s area. So, and he's got a couple of things there. A piece of glass from a bottle, like we've been finding other spots. Toothpaste. Yeah, some metal tube things there. We go wait. Holy smoke! Fishing way out here in the middle field. Crazy. <laughs> All right, what we got here, what we're told from the owner is a cork tree. It's the only one known in this area. And it's what they make wine, wine bottle pieces out of, right? Man, out of cork. Pretty cool, interesting tree. Uh, they say it's the only one around here. So if anybody knows anything about this type of tree, comment below. We'd like to know. Pretty cool. Well, we just found one coin here. It's round. And it looks like Lincoln on the front. Let's see if we got a sweetie weedy. Oh yeah, that's a sweetie weedy right there. So we do have one sweetie weedy coin for sure. A little bit older than that quarter I found for sure. Buddy, that was rough there, man. It was, it was nothing. Man, we got a wheat penny, a couple of pieces, some pottery. But we we'll really expect to have a lot of um buttons and stuff like that at 1783. It's, it really enjoyed being around that house and knowing the history there, but not what we're expecting, but we're getting ready to hit a spot in the 1600s. Right, buddy? Yep. And we've got, actually, Buddy and I have been to this place and hunted it pretty hard. Uh, um, large scent, reals, all kind of good stuff out of it, but we're going to see what we can get right now. Stay tuned. Hi, right, we've made it to the 1600s property. Awesome. I got one little buckle here, I think. Let's check it out. One little buckle right here. Check it out. I think it still has a tab on it, actually. I don't know how old that is right there, but it actually does have a copper tab. Sometimes it's still they rust out. We'll clean it up. That one actually has a, uh, a brass tab on it, so it's still on there. It's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, bag it up. We'll check it out later. Cool. A little slow, isn't it, buddy? Real slow. Buddy did find a round ball and another bullet, which is not Civil War, post-Civil War, I think, but it's definitely weird. It's got three rings on it right there, but we'll check it all out then. Stay tuned. All right, we got something round in the dirt here. Let's check it out. 
we uh, either got a coin or a button. If I had to make a gamble right here, I'd say a button though. I'm thinking button. It's kind of thin. Could have some design on it. We'll have to go home and clean that up. Might have some design on it. I just saw something round pop out right there. Let's check it out. We got something round in the dirt. Oh, that's going to be a button. I see the uh, thing about you. I think it might have writing on it. Yeah, that's definitely got some writing on it. We might be able to date that with the writing. Let's see if there's anything on the front here. Don't see anything on the front. Just a flat colonial button, but it does have a little bit of gold gilt left on it right there, it looks like. All right, we're going to clean that up and check it out. Awesome. All right, we've got something big and round here. I don't think it's a button, though. Let's see if we can clean it off just a little bit. Oh, it's a keyhole. Look at that. It's a front to a lock. Definitely a lock cover. Cool. All right, let's bag it up. Oh, I'm liking this hit. 27. Woo! Chop it just a little bit. But I did a 90 on it, and it stayed pretty much the same. So that's a good good indication right there. All right, it's in this big clog right here. Let's see what we got here. Not there. Ah, something near the top, it looks like. That's the top plug right there, so that's not a good sign. Could just be a pop top or something. Don't see anything yet. It's in here. Oh, uh, there it is. What in the world is it, though? Yes, it looks like it could be a little buckle. That's not bad. I think that's actually a little buckle. Kind of cool. It's been bent up, but uh, I'm thinking a little buckle. All right, I'm just bag it up. Buddy, what are you doing over there, man? Silver, oh, man, the silver mass has come through. Holy smoke, what you got, man? It's like a quarter. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, you got a date on it? 1864, I believe. Oh, a seated, too. Yeah, man. Congratulations, man. I like it. Seated quarter, 18... What does that say, buddy? 40-something? Oh, wait a minute. 18... What is that? 54. 54. Nice. Good job, man. I'm glad to see some silver come out of here. Awesome, man. Hi, right, buddy. It was looking rough there for a while. Oh, it was tough. Woo! All right, the silver master comes through. Stay tuned. All right, we're actually going to go underneath of the 1783 house, which is really cool. This makes it worthwhile right here. Look at the beams. These are, these are all original in here, right? Uh -huh, nope. The only right thing they've in. done is put a, a concrete floor in here. It was a dirt floor at one time. These are the original beams from 1738 holding this house up right here. It's pretty cool right there. I was starting to pick up a few more targets in this area. I got the weedy, got the silver quarter, and here's a button. See the tail went back right there, but I think it's broke off. But... Oh, clone your button though. We'll check out the back when we get home. Well, we're still digging a few things, buddy. Just dug a weedy. I just dug this button, a real pretty button. It's got some nice design on it. Check it out. I'm liking it. That's pretty cool right there. That'll clean up nice. No tab on back. Tab's gone, but looking good. Get a few targets in this area. Let's keep digging. All right, I think we got another weedy. Pop the plug out. I knew I had a target in this uh, clog, and you can see it's still in there, but you can actually see the wheat penny right in it. Let's get it out of here. Pretty cool. Look at that. Still sealed in there. Get it off of there. You can see the imprint. It's a weedy. I can't see the date right yet, but we'll check it out when we wrap up. All right, the one time I don't film you. You found some. What you got? Got a nice little button. Oh, that is nice. Got the back on it too, doesn't yep. it? Sturdy back. Yeah, got a nice table back of that one. I like that. Good job, man. I like it. Thank you. All right, buddy. Let's keep digging. Just a little bit longer to go. Bruce, what you got up here, man? You doing some cooking, man? <laughs> yeah, a little measuring spoon. <laughs> a little measuring spoon. A weedy. A nice uh, colonial flat button. I don't know if there's anything on front of that or not. You had to take it home and clean it up a little bit. And clean the back up. It might have some writing around the outside there, too. And you got the table and yours. Most of them come broke up. That's good there. I like that. You know, it looks like a tent stake to me. I don't know. Anybody got a clue that is? Let us know. If not, uh, Buddy was digging the heck out of some uh, coins. Modern coins. Modern coins here. 
But he did get a few other pretty good things. He's got nice one nice round ball. They're colonial most likely. Because we're all in colonial sites here. That is right there is a horse tack right there. That's pretty cool there, buddy. You got a, uh, a button right there. Tab going off. A weedy. Buddy dug that first. A silver. Buddy says a silver mass had come through. He got a, um, a wartime nickel, which has got silver in it. But then he dug this. 1854, right? Seated Liberty Quarter. Beautiful right there. It's in good shape, too, actually. Not bad at all. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Awesome, man. I, we both dug quarters, buddy. Yeah. I had a 30 on mine. You had 30 on yours. Same, isn't it? 1974 on mine. <laughs> I did dig a couple of these right here. I don't know what they are. They're modern. I, almost like a rim fire, but I think I see a slight center percussion on that. Anybody know what that is? Let me know. I dug that up there, that first property right there. I know that's a lock to a lock right there. See the key keyhole right there. Two buckles. I got a... Um, Right, kind of hard to tell the age of this one right here. It's kind of like a D buckle. They made it for so many years. I think that's a buckle too right there. A piece of one that's been hit by the plow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five buttons. Colonial buttons. And this one's got some writing on it. I'll put a picture of that one up there on the screen. Maybe y'all can tell me what that is. I do see guilt on it. That's definite, but I couldn't read the rest of it. Three Wheaties. I have to clean them up so the dates are on those. And we do, we're digging some pottery in the, that one field. Nothing really survive there to really start digging or anything but hey fellas we had a good time hey, doing yes, it i liked it man i enjoyed it appreciate the invite there bruce so uh, we'll we'll yeah. get you over, over the other side of the shore there for too long good. all right appreciate everybody coming along don't forget to click like comment below share there you go he's, he's learned already just getting started <laughs> subscribe to the gig master all right thanks for coming along <laughs>